YouTube, what's going on? We did be coming back with another one. Let's get it. You know, I got to keep the fire coming today. I got a great one. Today, I'm going to talk about the two biggest mistakes men make when talking to a highly attractive female. Yes, I see men make these two mistakes all the time. And it's actually funny. And men make these mistakes when they're talking to highly attractive females because one, you have a large group of men out here that not really comfortable engaging with highly attractive females. One, because they don't get the opportunity that often. And two, they're used to, you know, DMing females, you know, via social media. So they get intimidated when they come to the real world and they actually have to approach them, you know, physically. And men make these two mistakes all the time. The two biggest mistakes men make when talking to a highly attractive female. It's funny, I'm gonna break this down. Lock in, stick with me. You know I love the dating relationships. This is what I do, lock in. Before I start the video, please watch the entire video. If you like, subscribe to the channel to receive more content like this. Just content about life and various topics. Let's get it. Yeah, the two biggest mistakes men make when talking to a highly attractive female. And I see men, like I said, make these mistakes all the time and it's funny. And I'm gonna get right to it. I'm gonna get right to it because Men, when they make these mistakes, they let you know one thing right off the bat. They feel lesser than the women that they're talking to or they're intimidated. I'm going to tell you why. These are the two biggest mistakes. Number one, when men are talking to a highly attractive female, they always try to overcompensate. 80, 90% of men. They always try to overcompensate. What do I mean by overcompensate? He may be talking to a female. <clears throat> she may ask him, what do you do? What do you do for a living? Something like that. Just a basic question. He'll say, oh, I got this business. I got this business. I work here. He'll tell her five different jobs that he does just to make it look like he has so many different streams of income. Just to make it look, make himself seem rich. That's the way he'll overcompensate. She may not even care what you really do for a living. She may just like you for you, but here you go. You feel lesser than, so you're going to overcompensate. You're going to say, oh, I got this business. I got, I got this business in this city. I'm running this over here. You're trying to overcompensate because you, you feel lesser than. You're trying to add up to her value right off the bat. So they try to, men always try to overcompensate when talking to a highly attractive female. I'm going to tell you another way men try to overcompensate. She may ask him, are you in a relationship or are you talking to somebody? He's he going to say, no, I was talking to this chick, but then she did this. Then he'll start blaming females for why he don't talk to them anymore. Just doing the most. When she asks basic questions, he go into a whole different conversation, basically. When she asks a basic question. Because you don't want to seem like the bad guy. You don't want to seem like you did anything wrong. You want to look like, you want to make it seem like, oh, you such a great guy to her. You making so much money. You got so much interesting things going on. Overcompensate. So that's the first mistake men make. They overcompensate when they're talking to a highly attractive female. And... When they talking to, think about this, when men, when they talking to a female that they don't even find attractive, they barely say anything because you don't care what she think about you. That's, that's the difference right there. When men, they talking to a female that they don't find attractive, they barely tell her anything and the female end up liking him for him because she just likes you for you. It's not about what you, what you do for a living or what you got going on. And you never even told her either. And the female you didn't find attractive, she like you. Because you didn't even have to overcompensate. See, men only overcompensate with females that they feel lesser value than. 
or they kind of feel intimidated by. Intimidated by, you know, her appearance. That's what men overcompensate. They don't overcompensate with women that they don't find highly attractive. They tell them whatever they want to tell them. Men, when men don't find females attractive, men even tell them lies just to get them away. That's just to tell you how men are so like night and day when they're talking to a female that they find highly attractive and one that they don't. They lie to females that they don't find highly attractive and the females still end up liking them and they telling lies. Because you don't care when, they, when you don't find a female attractive. You don't care, so you tell her anything. And what do you know? She end up liking you. But men overcompensate. That's the first mistake. Number two, the second mistake, they just don't be themselves. Men, they don't. They don't be themselves when they're talking to a highly attractive female. They don't. I always knew a soft dude when he would do this around a highly attractive female. He'd have a deep voice with his boys, with his buddies, you know, talking high talk, you know, using slang. And then when a highly female, highly attractive female come around, he start, his voice get all light. It's like, oh, can I help you? You okay? That old soft shit, that old, that used to piss me off when, when you, when I would see my friends or guys have a deep voice and be themselves and be all masculine around their they friends, they guys. And then when a female come around, you get all soft and, oh, you okay? She know that's not the real you. You don't talk like that. Because when she hear you talking with your boys, you don't talk like that. So she know you're not being yourself. You got to be yourself. It's the intimidation voice. Just think about when you when you hurt somebody or make a mistake and, you know, do something wrong to somebody. You do like, oh, oh, you okay? You okay? It's the intimidation voice. It's the sorry voice. It's that weak shit. Men do this when around a highly attractive female. They either overcompensate or they don't be themselves. They say, oh, you okay? What's up? Like, doing all that air talk, basically. <laughs> all that air talk. You're not really talking. Trying to appease her. It's cool. What's up? Like, be you. Talk. And, and that's a big mistake because she goes, no, that's not you. That's not how you talk. She hear you talk. Come on. Oh, the two biggest mistakes men make when talking to highly attractive female. They overcompensate and just don't be themselves. That's the real. Or they do them little, they do them little cat calls or them little shout out calls. Hey, 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 what's up, yo, yo? Not really, you know, making an approach or talking to a female, stuff like that. Not being themselves. Doing cat calls and things like that. Men do things like that around highly attractive females. It is what it is. So, I wanted to break that down. So, no one mind, you know, I gotta come on my relationship, date, and all that. Cover all that. That's what I do. So, drop some down in the comments. Let me know what you think. Hit that bell icon. I'm so consistent. So, I'll drop one every day. Come with that fire. Knock another one out. Bow, bow, bow. Let's get it.